What is up YouTube? My name is Marcus and today we're going to be talking about my 2017 V6 Mustang. Today we're strictly just going to be talking about the exterior of the car just because I kind of just want to show everything that's on the car so everybody's on the same page, everybody knows what's on the car, everybody has an idea what the car is going to be in the future, stuff like that. So we're going to start strictly with the exterior. Next video will probably be the exhaust slash performance of the car and then lastly it will be the interior of the car so let's go ahead and get started starting up front everything is pretty much factory for the most part outside of a couple of things obviously the grill overlay sticks out the vinyl sticks out and the led turn signal stick out starting with the led turn signals these are just some 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 basic eBay turn signals because I used to have OP7 turn signals right here. These OP7 turn signals are very infamous of going bad over time, but in my opinion, these are still the best turn signals hands down. I know you have a couple of other ones, some things called Morimoto turn signals and the diode dynamic turn signals. So other people would probably argue that these OP7s aren't the best, but me personally, I do like the OP7 just because of the DRL boards in them, meaning that the lights would be white and then turn yellow. Unlike how these turn signals, you saw how the amber just flashed right here, and this is a white right here. This white doesn't turn off unless the lights are off. So if you're using these at night, you can barely see the amber that flashes under because that white is super bright. At, at nighttime, so that's kind of one thing I don't like. I wish when the amber flashed that this would turn off. If it did, then I probably wouldn't have to go back to the OP7. So, but I'm gonna end up going back to the OP7s one of these days. That's definitely on the list. If you pan up a little higher, these are the factory headlights, of course. But only thing I did with these was to put a little tent cut out from ebay right here just so it'll darken up the whole housing give it that, that, that nice dark smoke look without having it being actually smoked out and like i said earlier this is this middle portion i had this wrapped it's not it's not a traditional wrap it's a spray wrap you use a spray can you just wrap it or you spray it and it then it turns into vinyl wrap it came out pretty okay only thing was i had to I had to use a knife and kind of cut at it because when I taped it off and then I ripped it, took the tape off, some of the vinyl was coming off, so I had to get a knife and just cut it to where it was, the vinyl will stay in place. But it looks okay. It was just something, just something fun, recreational I could do just to kind of change the front of the car a little bit because I do plan on getting a, a new bumper anyway because I have a lot of rock chips and my clear coat's peeling, so you probably can't tell on the camera, but it definitely, it's definitely time for a new front bumper. And if you pan up a little higher, obviously you have the GT hood. I talked about it a little bit in my previous video, obviously with the, the hood vents. Very nice addition to the car. I got this hood off of Facebook for $120. So that was definitely the steal of the year. Last year when I got it, got it probably like three months ago, something like that. And now we can focus on the wheels. These are the Curva Concept C103 wheels. These are 19 by nines with some Potenzas, season four, all seasons. 19 by nines with a 30 millimeter offset. The rear is a 19 by 10 with a 30 millimeter offset. 295, 30, 19 in the rear. 265, 35, 19 in the front. SR Performance lowering springs, so it dropped the car about an inch. I want to go probably like an inch and a half more so most likely be changing out the spring sooner not too sure about getting coilovers just because i don't want to if i was to get coilovers i would probably have to get something that's not cheap and the coils can be very pricey and obviously bags are pricey and very pricey as far as fixing them goes so probably just end up getting a different spring rate uh lowering spring got the 3.7 badge right here and people know that it's a 3.7, not trying to, you know, be something I'm not, you know, stuff like that, just let people know. Even though a lot of people think this car is a V8, just because of the sound, I'm not saying that my car sounds like a V8, I'm just going off what other people say. Take that as you will. Now we got the tents. Obviously this is not factory, because I can see myself in the pitch blackness of it. 
This is a 5% windshield. This is still factory right here though. And then I have 35% on the windshield and 5% on the back glass. So definitely dark, definitely looks good. <laughs> Has it got me in trouble just once, which isn't too bad. So obviously you have the roof wrap, gloss black. So since I have the roof wrap black, I was thinking about taking off the roof wrap black and kind of just do like the black hood and then everything else be blue. Cause some of the other, like Dodge for example, they have the, the satin wrap hood and everything else is the factory color. But I'm thinking of just doing the hood, keeping the roof wrap and then wrapping the trunk black too. So it have like a two-tone look to it. And obviously my spoiler is not on the car anymore. I don't know if y'all noticed in the last video, but, or if I spoke about it, I kind of forgot. But that's not on the car anymore. Uh, I've had that for like a couple of years and the 3M tape is, was starting to give, so I just kind of took it off. It did leave some marks on my trunk, which I'm not appreciative of, but like I said, I do plan on getting the trunk wrap black now, so it's not a huge issue. And if you pan a little lower, you got the Euro, Tail lights. These are the 2018 style. They're the 2018 style because of the curvature of the lens. It's not a straight bar like how the 15 through 17s are. You got the the clear clear deck lid. Has no emblems. Just the clean look that I like about it. And that's how they look when they light up. I have the amber turns on it. Got the LED also on the side right here, forgot to mention. And like I said in the previous video, I have these, my bumper cut to fit these quad tip exhausts. I didn't do it personally, I had a friend of mine to do it and it looks good. Still on the fence of weathering, whether or not to change out the rear bumper and just get a premium bumper with a premium diffuser on the back. So still on the fence on that. And that's pretty much it as far as the exterior of the car goes. Some things that I do want to add that I kind of touched on earlier. I touched about how I want to wrap the trunk black. And whenever I do wrap the trunk black, I want to put a black spoiler. I'm thinking GT350 spoiler. And then I want to get some, get this gloss black, get the door handles gloss black. And I already talked about the premium bumper, lowering the car just a little bit. And then after that, and also changing the front bumper. And then, but after that, that's pretty much all I have left as far as looks would go. Honestly, it looks good now. A lot of people would be like, it's perfect how it is now, but I don't know. I'm just always the type of person to push the envelope a little bit. I still love it regardless. This is my baby. And I'm gonna be having it, I'm gonna have this car for a while now because like I said, I got pretty much a brand new engine in it, so this car's gonna be with me for the long haul. With that being said, that brings us to the end of the video. If there's something you feel like I need to add to the car or feel like there's something that needs to be taken off the car, let me know. I'm always here for y'all's opinion. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and that's pretty much it. Like, share, subscribe. V6 still exists.